Imagine yourself standing in a six square meter room with more than 30 other detainees, and one of them lay his head on your shoulder for a whole day, and when they took him out, you realized that he was dead. Imagine yourself forced to rape your friend, and after you finished, they forced your friend to rape you back. On the 1st of March 2017, a group of former prisoners from Syria, together with the human rights organization ECCHR, filed a suit in Germany accusing high-ranking officials from the Assad regime of torture in Syrian prisons. We suspect there is more than 60,000 Syrian detainees die in the detention until now. Discussing how to do justice is about the past, the present and the future. It's not enough to be shocked and devastated in, in the light of what is happening in, in, in Syria. You have to find ways to act. There is still no international war crimes tribunal for Syria. It may be years before war criminals have to face a Syrian court, if ever. But facing accusations in Germany under the Code of International Criminal Law tells the perpetrators you cannot feel safe any longer. The world is getting smaller for you. If you now go on a plane and fly to a third country where you might feel safe to go, to go shopping or to look at your bank account, you might run, run the risk to get arrested or to get called for, a, for an interview at the prosecutor's office. Um, and of course we hope that this is also a contribution to, to prevention of torture. One day, the material gathered in the German probe might also be used before a potential war crimes tribunal. The, the, the activism of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the victims and survivors, uh, the work of, of, uh, of, of lawyers and, and organizations uh, uh, like the ECC, HR here and others, are, is just fantastic. And, and putting that all together, uh, with the kind of evidence that it's been possible to marshal and with this, with this mechanism, I think we can begin to, 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 uh, to turn the corner and show that these crimes in, in Syria w will not be committed with, with, with impunity. This is a chance um, to not only find the perpetrators, but also it sends a strong message to the victims of this uh, uh, regime that there is someone who's listening to their stories and that uh, justice one day, sooner or later, will be done. As political and diplomatic efforts fail, legal means is one way to stop torture and think about a peaceful future for the Syrian people. Justice is not a moral luxury for victims. Victims and those who have survived crimes, but also loved ones of those who haven't, they have a right to justice. They have a right to this measure of peaceful closure to move on. We don't seeking for revenge. We try to protect our society from revenge and without justice, without accountability, without the victim feeling satisfied about what happened to those who make torture and all this kind of uh, war crime, it will not be a peace. The atrocities continue in Syria. Even for the refugees, the fear is all but over. Imagine yourself to be afraid of talking about all of these violations after getting out of prison or even after getting out from Syria because of your deep belief that they are going to do worse things to your family. But at least there's hope that the crimes won't pay off and that there will be justice one day. They took something from us. They, they, they took my freedom for whole three, three months. They took a lot of other people's lives and freedom. <laughs> and uh, it's good that justice maybe will be applied. <laughs> We really think that, as they mentioned here, justice is very important to build uh, peace in Syria. And we really think that justice is a very important tool uh, to also make sure that perpetrators of war crimes understand that there are consequences of what they are doing. I'm glad that there are people and organizations who are spotting the light on this issue and not neglecting the fact that there are people doing war crimes in Syria without 
any punishment and accountability.